What up? How do you do? How's it going? How's life? Is it blowing you away? Or are you feeling like life is just cray? I don't know. But anyway, I'm just here to say hi, not to pop my collar, not to talk about how I've got a bunch of dollars and got a whole bunch of money because it's funny. I don't. Maybe I won't, but you know. Let's just be real. That's ideal. Like Kid Ink and DJ, whoever in that one video that I kept pressing replay on, say. The song is called Be Real, and it's weird because it's not my ideal version of rap, but the idea of being real isn't crap. I don't know. It's a rap. When I start listening to mainstream music and get inspired, then you know something's weird and not the way I'm normally wired, so I'm just tired of confusing things. I'm not supposed to be influenced by anything mainstream. That's not how it works. I get influenced by Disney and other perks like stuff on Netflix that they give to kids. Or chick flicks, I don't know anything but not mainstream anything. That just is weird. Like me getting rid of my beard. But wait, that happened. So I don't know. Yo. I just don't. No, no. Can't take any more. I want life to be the same like a bore, but it's borderline redefining what I thought in my mind was the way that I should continue my upbringing, but now life is bringing new things to the table and I'm not able to keep up with it. Why can't things just be the way you expect them to? So many ways that slow it life doesn't do. You think you got things figured out, but you never do, and in due time, you're spitting rhymes like this. Wouldn't life just be bliss if everything happened the way you thought it should? But that never happens. You feel all dapper, feel all happy, then all of a sudden something happens that just makes you feel dizzy because that's just not how things go. Like Dorothy getting blown away to the land of Oz to go see the Wizard of Oz. Perhaps I've got a similar cause because I've need, I need some things that I can't find. <sighs> not in my mind, not in my heart. Not in my stomach. I don't know where to start. I can't stomach it. (sighs) Is this me throwing a fit? I don't know. I'm just laying low, literally, on my bed. Instead of standing tall, I don't got the confidence for that. I just lay back, relax, and kick raps or punch raps. I don't know. Having a heart attack because my heart is getting attacked daily maybe by me myself not even anyone else or maybe both sides both parties i don't know i'm like one of the hardy boys from wwe does that make sense if it doesn't then let's compare me to someone from glee but i haven't seen an episode of that yet so i don't know maybe i should watch more shows get obsessed even more to netflix And I can flick my future goodbye because why even try to succeed in this world if you're busy living in another dimension 24-7 because you're obsessed with Netflix and movies and popularity and all the people that are successful while you're laying back on your couch with a mouthful of Cheetos and Oreos. And Pepto-Bismol because you're having a small problem that needs solving. Because you go to the bathroom and you're just stalling. (laughs) And get it? I don't know. I'm just saying I'm upset with nothing, actually. Because to a degree, this is actually interesting when you expect something to happen and it doesn't. But the point is you have to know how to recover. Otherwise, it makes you want to shudder. So you've got to be wise and try to make sense of all the stuff. Because you have your ideals and the fluff and the bliss that you desire. But then life isn't wired that way. So you've got to figure out a way to play with these cards you're dealt. Like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Just had to belt to that out because you know what it is, Disney all day, every day. Anyway, 
that's all I gotta say on that. But back to the bathroom reference, because that was getting fun. And I don't want to be on the fence on that. Let me continue before I go finito on this flow. No, no. Back to the bathroom reference. So you're sitting down watching Netflix, flicking your future goodbye. Don't even try to tell yourself that you're not obsessed because you are. Even though you're blessed with the ability to watch an infinite amount of bountiful, wonderful imagination of other people and watch the sequels, you're stuck on a couch and ouch, your butt is probably getting, I don't know, warm from sitting on the couch so long, I don't know, can't think of all the words I want to say, but yo, so, you're stalling in the bathroom because you've had too much sugar and you can't soon get yourself to get out. So you're just stalling because you can't figure it out. Stalling in the bathroom stall because you're not ready to admit to the fall. Instead of standing tall, you're just sitting down, pouting on the pot because you can't make something happen. You're constipated but congratulated because you're just sitting down trying to make this profound so many talents within you that you could have found but you're just stalling you're stalling because you're eating the sweet things that other people made Oreos, Cheetos, yeah a parade of sweet things like the candy that they throw at parades your whole life is like you're playing charades. Me too. Not just you. But yeah, it's like you've got super glued to the chair, watching everyone else's career. Beware. Everyone seems like they have so much flair on the TV screen, but don't mean to be mean, but that's not reality. That's just them acting like they're Tiger Woods at the tee off when they're not. They're more like a lemur. Has got cancer or not but if you can spot them like the spots in a cheetah you'll see there's people that we thought are just living a life in bliss when really those are the ones most at risk because then you see them on drugs and ending up in rehab and then maybe you're glad you're not them really we're all people all of us are people yeah it's true so, do you. And I should do me too. I say things like, I'm the shrink, and what I think is really stuff that I know and do it perfectly, but really, no. I have no sort of authority. The stuff I'm saying to the screen is the same stuff that I mean to say to myself. Or if not, well, then I should shelf the thought that I am perfect because I'm not at all. I'm Stalin just like you, except I'm not Joseph Stalin. Dude, I am not someone trying to go nitro on everyone and just blow them to bits though i admit there's a part of me that wishes who oh, okay now we're gonna get deep keep that thought there's a part of me that is stalin and when i say stalin now i mean joseph stalin i mean hitler picture the part of you, deep inside, know it's true. The part of you that wishes everyone just lived like the way that you yourself live. I mean, don't kid. We did have those thoughts. We do have those thoughts. Whether we know it or not, we wish people were just the way they're supposed to be. Not gay, not autistic, not this, not that. So there's the part of us that holds the wrath or the wish to just dish everyone off to another planet and that they shouldn't exist in our world, but it's not our world. The only world that we can take for a world is the world we hold on our own, in our own self, and we bring it to the world. We can't dispel other things that also exist. That's the twist, because life just doesn't mix that way. We say what we want to say, we stand for what we want to stand for, but really, 
you build your own core and then when you go out to explore it's not a sunset and a seashore it's a challenge to see if you really have an advantage if everything you've grown to be can honestly survive in this world and if not then you'll have to improvise and not be choked in a vice grip when life whips you like a slave Ooh, I better behave I don't even know why I'm talking about that I wasn't alive back in the earlier decades I was born in America and I'm not even connected to my ancestry that way or my heritage I'm more connected to cottage cheese please I'm as white as anyone if that even makes sense or was it dumb to say I don't know hey but yeah we wish things were the way that we think the world should happen and you can blame movies and the cartoons we grew up with and the TV shows and all these other things where they bring this idea that everything is just this picture perfect world and I got nothing against Disney don't even try but at sometimes I do find myself wondering why the world is so different and yet in these screens we envision with our vision of commonality when really that's not reality you see so much difference look at the variety of animals and plants and ants that bite you at the feet when they're small you couldn't even hear them if they were making a squeak but yet they bite fiery red ants yeah there's a chance I'm starting to digress whatever I confess I won't go any further unless you want to hear more more out of my lips these lips and teeth that are equipped to bite and soothe and loosen but it's gruesome some of the star stuff that comes out I don't even know what I'm complaining about man that took a wayward route whatever endeavor clever what word should I use next I don't know they didn't teach me this in college there is no text to teach me the things that I want to know to spit flows and rap good so I think I should just stop with hip-hop just watch the rappers on the TV screen because they're successful and they're perfect right wink I already told you what you should think now I'm gonna sink out of the screen then come back up in it even though I'm not perfect eyes on me I'm just a human being